What's up, you YouTube fanatics? Today I wanted to talk about semantic layers. Are they real? What are they? Are they just Orwellian marketing speak? It's like the data gods just can't help themselves. They keep sending me stuff to talk about. This one has been semantic layers. It's showed up over here and there over the last few years. It's kind of been coming up a lot on LinkedIn lately. A lot of people and a lot of vendors in particular writing about the semantic layer and Honestly, I had no idea what it was. I've seen them talk about the semantic layer. I knew it had something to do with data modeling, maybe something to do with, I don't know, vendors, clearly. They're all talking about the semantic layer all the time, analytics. So, I mean, honestly, I thought it was something just made up by the Illuminati, you know, because they probably own all the SaaS vendors. So, but it turns out it's kind of right. Okay, so what is a semantic layer? This was actually sort of hard to define when I dug into it because you have all these vendors talking about the semantic layer and each one of them kind of has a little bit of different take on it and no one has really any hard implementation facts. It was a little bit hard to come up with a definition of a semantic layer, but as the best as I could tell, when you look across all the vendors, more or less, this is what they say. They say the semantic layer acts as a universal translator sitting between the complex data sources and business users. Business users is key. That keeps coming up. They're talking about some sort of layer between the data and the business users. And to provide consistent business-friendly view of data by translating raw data into understandable business concepts and metrics like revenue or customer. That's a lot, but that's just what the vendors are saying. More or less the only thing the vendors seem to agree on is that it's some sort of data modeling layer between your business user, meaning your consumer, and the data. That's basically what they're saying. I mean, if you jump over and see what Databricks says about it, Databricks says, well, within the enterprise data architecture, the semantic layer sits between the data management system, such as the data warehouse or the data lake and the data marts, and the business intelligence tools. Kind of makes sense. You know, DuckDB has done a whole thing about the semantic layer. What did they say? They said it's a semantic layer is known as a metrics layer and lies between the business users and the database. Let's the users compose queries and concepts they understand. It governs data access. And this is kind of where the vendors seem to part on the semantic layer. They seem to agree that the semantic layer is some sort of more or less modeling, data modeling that sits between your users, consumers, and the data. Some of them say, you know, the semantic layer includes actual transformations. Some of them say it includes actual data calculations for a particular column, like what is a customer closed or open. And some of them say it even includes like data governance stuff. And it just depends on the vendor. Again, Databricks, to sum that up, Databricks will say it's after the data lakes, but before the BI tools. And DuckDB says, well, it's after the database but before the business user. Sort of the same, sort of not. Interestingly enough, Snowflake, if we add that to a mix, they have their own definition. They actually have an actual implementation of a semantic layer that isn't just their normal product. Again, Snowflake said an independent semantic layer is a business-friendly abstraction over complex data systems. Again, I said that before. It's kind of, that's pretty much what everybody's saying. But Snowflake actually has what they call a semantic view, which we can look at later. They're like the only ones that actually have, they actually built something that's a thing that says semantic in the name. Everyone else, DuckDB, Databricks, anybody else talking about all these analytics SaaS vendors, they're basically saying, hey, our tools together, they are a semantic layer, or you can build a semantic layer with them, basically meaning it's just a data model. And if you use our tools, you can call it a semantic layer, supposedly. But again, here's a little picture. This is basically what a semantic, semantic layer is. We have terrible business users, horrible people on one end. We have a data that's messy and horrible. The magic semantic layer sits in the middle and solves all our problems. I think I've heard this somewhere before. In the years and years and decades I've been doing this, things about single source of truth. Hmm, we've heard this before, haven't we? If I had to sum it up, I would say the semantic layer for any SaaS vendor is the amalgamation of their products that deliver a set of features which can be called the single source of truth that defines data and more importantly the layer by which the end user consumes that data. That's what I would say an actual semantic layer is. It's not anything new, it's just another name that the marketing companies that SaaS vendors have come up with to say, hey, we can provide this end-to-end -end great product that somehow magically if you use all our stuff it'll make a layer between your end users and the data so like in databricks example would be the medallion architecture 
it's just another name for the semantic layer, right? The gold layer would be the semantic layer, I guess. I did mention Snowflake before. I want you to check this out. If you actually go over to Snowflake's documentation, they beat everybody to the punch. They actually created something called the semantic view. No one else has done that. As far as I can tell, they just say we have a semantic layer. Snowflake actually, for once, did something right, maybe, if you think a semantic layer is right, and they actually made a semantic view. So you can like actually have a create statement, say like create this semantic view and it has these metrics, has these comments and fact and dimensions and relationships and they're, I get it, what they're trying to do. They're just trying to like get you to put all in one spot, the data transformation, the definition of a calculation. They just want it in a single spot that it gets served to the business user and they can call that a semantic layer. Again, if you go over to Databricks and you do a Google Databricks semantic layer, you won't really get an answer. They just they consider their entire product offering a semantic layer, which is fine. But they also have third-party semantic layers that you can buy as like part of a Databricks Connect Partner Connect, and they kind of those vendors talk about cubes. You remember cubes? That was like 15 years ago. You know, they're talking about the modern data stack, and we'll put this stuff in a cube and all this analytics, and it's just more vendor sales talk. Basically, let us transform your data and present it in a usable way. Honestly, at this point, it just appears that we're all rabbits still chasing the same carrot after all these times. I've been doing this stuff for well over a decade. Everybody's always talking about the single source of truth. They just called it something else. They just called it the semantic layer instead of the data warehouse source of truth. They just said semantic layer. That's all they did. They just want data truth, metrics and analytics truth. They want business definitions truth. They want calculations truth and governance truth all in one spot. All in a single tool or a bunch of tools either way. That's the semantic layer. That's what it is. It's just another marketing term.